How does anesthesiology actually work? Is there a relatively simple, quote unquote, explanation for it? Well, there, there isn't exactly a simple explanation. Uh, the, the question of anesthetic mechanism has persisted since the birth of the field in 1846. And one of the reasons why it's been a challenge is because we have a number of structurally and pharmacologically and neurobiologically distinct drugs that all seem to get us to a similar endpoint in terms of loss of consciousness. So trying to understand what's common to these drugs, and maybe there isn't anything common to all of them, uh, has been a challenge. I'd say in general, anesthetics work by potentiating inhibitory neurotransmitter systems and damping down the brain, or by um, antagonizing excitatory uh, transmitter systems. Uh, but it really depends on the, the different kind of drug, and you can have a variety of different uh, neurobiological effects. But of course, to our enormous benefit in the world of surgery, um, it's very selective. It just seems to take away awareness, and but the rest of the brain continues to function um, generally as yes, normal. Is I, that correct? I think that's accurate, and uh, it's remarkable actually how much information processing can go on in the anesthetized brain. Now, at a certain dose, everything really is going to be uh, shut down. Um, but when you're just getting over the border to unconsciousness, the brain can still receive, or it seems like the brain can still receive sensory information, process it in primary sensory cortex, even higher cortical areas. Um, my thinking and the thinking of others is that anesthetics work on more higher order processes, on the brain's ability to integrate or synthesize neural information, and anesthetics sort of pull apart that communication in the brain, rendering a patient unconscious. Mm -hmm.